Here's a tutorial on how to create a Google Form. Once you go to google.com, log into your account, click on the waffle, and go to Drive. Once you're in your Drive, click on the New tab. Google Form is not one of the ones that first pops up, so you'll have to go to More, and then you'll see Google Form. You have the option to create one from a blank form or from a template. If you just click on Google Form, it will automatically bring up a blank form. You can title your survey here. We'll call it Test Survey. You can add a description under here. And then you have the option to start adding different questions. There are many different question options that you have. You have a short answer, paragraph, multiple choice. You can use checkboxes, a drop down menu. You can even have people uh, upload a file. There's many different options here. I'm going to show you a Google form I created a couple minutes ago called Summer Fun. This might be a survey you would give to your family. I've titled it Summer Fun and it's the description I'm planning our summer and want to know what you what how you would like to spend it. So my first question is a drop down question and they're going to choose their name or their title in the family. There's the four choices. The next question is where do you want to go this summer and this is a multiple choice question. No. The third question I had in here uh, asks what activity they would like to do close to home. It's a paragraph, so it will allow the person answering this question to have a long answer. The next one is a short answer. So when you're just looking for um, a couple words, a, a couple sentences, you can do short answer. This question asks about the best week to travel. I could also choose date and then they would have to enter a date instead of just writing in the day. You could do either one. This is a checkbox question, so I've asked them just to choose three of the choices below. And then the last question I put on here on this sur pretend survey is asking them to upload a picture of their dream vacation. And so this is a file upload question. I've chosen to only accept an image file. You could leave this um, unchecked and accept any of these document file types. And then the last thing I want to show you on here is you can click this button here and you can require that question. You can do that for all of the questions that you have. You can just require some of your questions and not others. So when you're all finished with your survey and you want to preview it, you're going to click on the I at the top it'll open in a new tab exactly what your survey looks like to the person that is taking the survey. You can see anything with a red asterisk is a required question. So here's your drop down question. Here's your multiple choice question. Here's the one that was a long answer and then we ended up changing this one to a date. So we can go over and choose that this is the best week for us to travel. I can choose three different options. It'll let me choose more than that, as you can see, but we've asked them just to choose three. And then here, this one, of course, is these two are required questions, and we're asking them to be able to upload a file. It will allow them to upload from their computer, from their drive, or somewhere that they have previously selected. And then you would hit Submit. Oh, it wants me to do something. So when you're all finished, then you would submit and you would get an option to see all of your results.